Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another RK's voice acting. This time, I really wanted to learn about a voice actor I never really heard of. We often hear about the great ones, or the missed ones, for obviously good reason. But this industry is built on working actors, and not just voice work. Any movie or series has more guest star, side characters, and extras than celebrities. I've been shining a spotlight on a side of the Transformers that is often forgotten, even if it made these shows the icons they are today. Therefore, I present to you the voice of the most controversial character of G1, Rodimus Prime. Meet Dick Gauthier, and don't go call him Richard, that's really not his name. Born on October 30th, 1931 in Culver City, California, Dick is described as an actor, comedian, singer, and caricaturist. Other than being an outcast and weirdo in high school, Dick didn't share much of his childhood. He started his career doing stand-up and singing in San Francisco and New York, eventually landing a Broadway show, Bye Bye Birdie, which put him on the map, opening doors in movies and television. Interestingly, in a panel at TFCon, he mentioned that being known for stage acting doesn't stop studios from asking actors to prove that they can do all the voices and accent they put on a demo tape. He's been asked to cold read a script and then on the fly use different accent followed by adding variants of H's and so on and so forth to prove his abilities. He was very active in the 70s but got his start in the 60s doing mostly guest starring role in shows like Bewitch, The Flying Nun and Get Smart. He did star alongside Steven Strimpel and Paul Smith on the show Mr. Terrific who ran for 17 episodes. Keeping his schedule busy with guest work in the 70s on shows such as Kolchak, The Night Stalker, Mrs. Colombo, and The Love Boat. He also starred in Here We Go Again in 1973, When Things Were Rotten in 1975, and was a regular on the show Love American Style. Then the 80s hit and he did even more guest work in popular shows and movies, including Charlie's Angels, Happy Days, Fantasy Island, Knight Rider, Matlock, and Murder, She Wrote. But, as you know, he started lending his voice to many characters in that same period, starting with many additional voices on the show Galtar and the Golden Lands. And this led him to be the voice of Rodimus Prime in Season 3 of The Transformers. Good thinking, Grimlock. We've got to get there before they do, and stop them. Reprising the role from Judd Nelson, he brilliantly voiced Rodimus and also Hot Rod when he lost the Matrix. <laughs> Alright, Hot Rod is back! Let's party! And also Hot Rod in Season 4. Hey Blur! Long time no see! But this experienced actor also did the voice of a sweep. Long live Galvatron! Ape face. <laughs> and Firebolt. And I'm Firebolt! We are the Target Masters! Others will remember him as Herb Pentor, a character he described as an overacting Shakespearean actor. He was the voice of both Claws and Brimstone and Gobots the Rock Lords, and the voices of Crygen, Pyre, and Senator Masterson on Inhumanoids. He voiced Louis on Foofer, Mordax in Sky Commanders, as well as Spike in Tom and Jerry Kids. On the Batman animated series, you heard him as Teddy, or you may know him as Gargle on Dumb and Dumber the animated series. His last TV show was Cow and Chicken, voicing Red, Red's Dad, Butts, and Barber. He also got a few roles in video games in the 90s, portraying Dirk in Tonka Construction and its sequel, as well as Burt Franklin in Detective Barbie in The Mystery of the Carnival Capper. If you want my opinion, this actor, like many others, is what show business is made of. Listening to his different panel appearances in various cons, he was dedicated to the art. A true professional that left us not so long ago, passing away on January 13, 2017. Check the links in the description for some of his panels at TFCon. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Dick Gauthier's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!